What is going on everybody and welcome to part 27 of Gary's Mod Game Mode Scripting. In today's part, we're going to be creating ourselves another console command that is going to allow us to purchase guns from not only within the console, but more importantly from within our shop. So let's go ahead and get started with that. We are working in the concommands.lua file. And we're just going to be adding a single function here, which is function by gun. And again, this just like this one up here, it's going to take in three arguments, a player, so P-L-Y, the command, C-M-D, and then the arguments, so args. And then end that off. And first thing I want to do here is I want to check to make sure that the arguments that are, should be passed in are not nil. So if args1 does not equal nil, and... Since this is going to be taking in a, another argument, so it's going to be taking in two arguments in total, we want to make sure that the second one is not nil either. And then then, and end it off. Now in here I want to create two variables. The first one being the local balance. And I'm going to set this to PLY colon get NW int. And the network int I want to get is just the player money again. And just to avoid any errors with this, I want to do two number here. Because for some reason, there is a chance that this get networked int will give us a string. And that will cause some errors down the line. So just to number this, it'll convert, if it is a string, it'll convert that string to a number. Next up, the local gun cost. And again, this is going to be a two number also, because this is going to be passed in as a string. And we want to convert that string to a number. And the number that we want to, or the string that we want to convert is the args2. Because that second argument we pass in is going to be the cost of the weapon that we're going to be purchasing. And once that is done, we want to do a quick if statement here that's going to check if the balance is greater than or equal to the gun cost. And if it is, then we want to go ahead and, first of all, set the player money networked into whatever the balance is minus the gun cost. So PLY colon set NW int. And the NW int that we want to set is player money. And we want to set that to their current balance, which is just this variable up here, minus the gun cost. And then after that, once their balance is deducted by that gun cost, we can go ahead and give them the weapon. So PLY colon give. And this is going to be expecting a string. And because we are passing in the name of the gun as a string through args1, we can just easily do args1 in here, and that will give us what we want. And next up, since the player does have a chance of already owning the gun, we want to go ahead and give them ammo whenever they go ahead and repurchase the weapon through the shop. So we do PLY colon give ammo and the amount we want to give, and I'll put 20, followed by the type of ammo. And we could get the ammo type by doing PLY colon get weapon args1. That'll go ahead get... That's, or convert that args1 string, which is just the string version of that weapon, and convert it to an actual weapon. So then we can go ahead and use this handy function, which is get primary ammo type. And then the last thing we want is a boolean. That's going to be whether or not we want to hide this pop-up. And I do not want to hide the little pop-up because I want the player to know how much ammo they're getting and the type of ammo they're getting. So we're going to set that to false. Last thing we want to do with this is add this con command so we can actually use it. So con command dot add. First argument being the name of the command. So this will be by underscore gun. Followed by the function that's going to be called whenever this by underscore gun command is ran. So this will be by gun. So go ahead, save that now. Go into game. And let's go ahead and try this out now. Let's go ahead and do by underscore gun. And I want to buy the BB underscore Deagle. And I'm going to set the cost to zero. Now if we do that, get out of the console. As you can see, since I already own the gun, I got 20 more ammo. And I can do it again. Get another 20 ammo. And so forth. And if I go ahead and reload this here and then try it again. Instead of getting ammo, I'll get that gun plus the ammo. 
So let's do that. Buy underscore gun BB underscore Deagle for a price of zero. Run it. And as you can see, I got both the Desert Eagle and then the 357 ammo. So that is how you make that console command to allow us to purchase weapons from within the console. Next time we'll actually be adding those weapons to that shop menu here underneath this weapons classable category and then allowing us to actually purchase the weapon by clicking on the spawn icon. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.